Good evening on this increasingly dark, post-fabulous, stunning sunset in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area. This is a brief Bitcoin update. And what I did for you guys, all oh, what I did for you, my subscribers, my lovely subscribers, is I superimposed something that happened that's better to see. When Bitcoin bubble crashed in 17, I superimposed what happened in yellow after for the next year and a half. And look how close it's following Bitcoin, right? Look at this. Look at this, guys. Let me pull my little pointer tool out. Or not my pointer tool. My, li my line tool with an arrow on it. The thing I'm going to make famous. Look at this. You can see the line, the... The yellow is 17. We dumped. Went under the 200 day, came back up into the rising wedge, similar to this, and then dumped. Look how similar the dump was. The red is current. Um, the yellow is what happened in 17. Then you can see it pumped and sort of the current price. And then the current price shifted over a little bit quicker than this one, but they both formed the same falling wedge after the bubble popped. See that? They had the same pump up, and this was the top where I started from. And they had the same falling wedge almost to the exact bottom. And now the current price in green is coming back up. And that's why we have this $42 target. And that's why we feel like this is major overhead resistance. Because when the bubble popped in seven, early 18, late 17, it ran up here and then got rejected by overhead. The moving average, this, this 200, if I draw it out, is going to be like this. The overhead 50 is going to be here. And the greens, the overhead 200 is going to meet right there. You see that? And that's going to cause major, major resistance. See what I'm saying? And uh, let's pull this tool back out. And I think if the price pumps up, this is about as high as you're going to get. And all the other coins will follow. And then I think we got an extended down. This is why I think we're going into an extended bear market. Because look what Bitcoin did the rest of that year and then dumped towards the end of the year. I think this is what we're in in Bitcoin, and I think this is going to follow the rest of the coins. Pay very close attention. I'm going to leave this up here as a possible pattern, right? This is just a quick update to give you the power of some of the techniques that I use. We're going to see how closely this follows it, right? That's why that yellow line's been there at 41000 and change since the price was at 60000 because I knew we were coming back down to it, and we followed in the same Pour a little pointer tool. The same. No, we got to get our little arrow tool. What am I doing? We followed in the same pattern here, the falling wedge, and now we're trying to break out of it. And I think we're going to get rejected by this overhead fifty and the overhead two hundred, and this other confluency with the prior pattern looks spot on so far. So it gives me no reason to change my ongoing forecast. I'll keep you up to date. I'm going to post this on Twitter, and this is a great case study for all of you guys to follow. My subscribers, over 200 now, um, like, subscribe, and share. If you want to donate to the channel, links will be below, above and below the description. But this is a great case study to follow. You can see how close it's done so far, and I think we're on to something here at Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing to sidestop the criminal gangster cartel that has infiltrated uh, the United States federal government um, to take down the retail investor, but we're here to help you sidestop Audible and beat uh, the criminal gangster cartel and profit from trading. Peace and love, peace and love.